And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the sports club at Rockingham Park here in Salem, New Hampshire, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Twelve rounds of boxing for the USBA Welterweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 146 pounds from Mobile, Alabama. He brings a professional record of 23 and 8 with 15 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, the modern day outlaw Jesse James Hughes. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black and weighing 146 pounds from Mobile, Alabama. His professional record, 20 victories. 16 by KO against eight defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the USBA welterweight champion, Jesse James Hughes. Hell yeah! And the champion in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing in at 146 and a half pounds from Mobile, Alabama, with a record of 21 wins, eight losses, 17 by knockout, James Hughes! James! James Hughes has proved that boxing changes in a hurry. He was unheralded before a thrilling 1994 battle with Anthony Stevens. This USDA title bout went the way experts thought it would early. Stevens boxed smartly, controlled the pace from outside, and looked unhittable. Then came Hughes' four knockdowns, and they only made the fight even. Hughes needed knockdown number five in the final round to put the title belt around his waist. It was by far the biggest win in his career, and it was cause for celebration. How long would it last? Not very long, apparently, as he fought Adrian Stone a few months later. This time, Hughes was way behind. You can count on one hand, it seems, come back from big scorecards deficits. This would be one of them. Hughes has been practically shut out. Furthermore, he's won only 40% of fights that have gone the distance. But when Stone tired, Hughes was all over his one chance to win. For the second straight time, he kept the judges from spoiling his night. Hughes' power continues to keep him in fight, and he wants to take on the best available and maybe go after a world title shot. What I'm doing with this title, I'm trying to make a statement, you know, by defending against top good fighters. You know, making a statement, hey, you know, I'm in the top 10 IBF, Felix Trinidad, where are you? Give me a shot. You know, but I'm not looking past this fight or any other fight. I take them all one at a time, you know, try to stay focused. I stay with what got me where I'm at today. You know, a lot of times the guys get them a little tired, look. Uh, they start doing good in the game and they get defocused is what I'd call it, you know, into the atmosphere of the money and the fame and the glory. I'm just an old Southern boy, you know. I just, I just want a piece of the pie, too. I'm just staying focused and working hard, you know. Well, he's just an old southern boy with a lot of appeal. The song he comes into is, I'm an outlaw. But you know what? He's a nice guy. He certainly is. He's played up everything to the max. Very engaging individual. And there is Jesse James Hughes. He's got the outfit. He's got the fans. They got the...